After two years of embracing a political message during the NFL football games, the NFL decides, eh, maybe the Super Bowl isn't the place for politics. Hey, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. You may or may not have heard about the uh, about the veterans group that uh, wanted to take out an entire page ad in the uh, upcoming Super Bowl program. Now, not what you have, would have seen on TV, but only in the program that, you know, is sold for, you know, who knows how much uh, at these Super Bowl games. Well, the NFL rejected the ad because... It was too political. Yeah, the NFL. The NFL, which has uh, been in, been fine with players kneeling during the national anthem. The same NFL, which has decided that they're going to uh, put money towards social justice issues. Now the NFL decides when your message is to stand up for the national anthem, that's just way too political and way too controversial uh, to associate with the NFL. Uh, the NFL, according to this from USA Today, the NFL rejected the one-page ad for the NFL Super Bowl program submitted by AmVets with the message, please stand. If you haven't seen the uh, the ad yet, it's the military color guard holding up the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the U.S. flag, and it has the hashtag, please stand. That's all it says. Uh, you know, there, there are some other things about making donations, and uh, but but all it says is please stand. It doesn't say, hey, Colin Kaepernick, screw you. Uh, it doesn't say all of you who uh, took a knee for the national anthem, screw you guys. It doesn't say anything like that. It just says hashtag please stand. Uh, the uh, NFL spokesperson, Brian McCarthy, told USA Today, the Super Bowl game program is designed for fans to commemorate and celebrate the game, the players the teams and the Super Bowl. It's never been a place for advertising that could be considered political uh, or a political statement. The NFL has long supported the military and veterans and will again salute uh, our service members in the Super Bowl with a memorable on-field moment that will be televised as part of the game. Uh, a Joe Chanely, executive director of AmVets, said players who protest by kneeling during the national anthem are exercising their free speech, and AmVets only wanted to do the same. Uh, they said that, uh, hey, we've been able to, uh, 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 to to advertise or put the same uh, placement in NBA All-Star Game and the NHL All-Star Game programs with no problem at all. McCarthy said the a uh, VFW ad for the Super Bowl program was submitted and later approved with, for a tagline that read, We stand for veterans with text describing benefits of the organization uh, offers. He said AmVet submitted the ad last Wednesday with the line, please stand, and it was rejected. All right, so a couple of things here. The NFL, they spent the last two years uh, applauding uh, players for taking a knee. It was seen as an affront uh, by uh, many fans of the game and military service members. And on the uh, on the other side, there were some service members who were fine with it. But I think if you look at uh, the overall picture, most people had a problem with players taking a knee. Now the NFL, they could have accepted this ad, and, and really nobody would have known about it except for those who went to the actual game. But it would have been a show of, okay, you know, these players take a knee, they're sending a political message, standing for the national anthem. I personally don't believe it's a political message, but if you do believe it's a political message, then you're honoring both. Uh, you know, if, if the players want to take a knee, okay, you're not going to say anything. If somebody wants to say, please stand for the national anthem, then uh, that is something that the other side should hear. Number two, the NFL misses the big picture on this because if they would have uh, accepted the ad, nobody would have known about it. Uh, most likely, uh, nobody would have known that there was even an ad in the program because we wouldn't have seen it. Now that they rejected the ad, the NFL's hurt themselves uh, PR-wise again heading into the biggest game uh, of the season with those who associate the NFL with anti-national anthem, anti-military. They've hurt themselves yet again when they could have just accepted the ad and been done with it. By rejecting the ad, it blows this issue up, uh, you know, times a hundred 
uh, to where now, uh, you know, every single news station has covered it. Websites are covering it. I'm talking about it. And we're talking about, uh, you know, whether the NFL, uh, you know, really salutes the veterans, really embraces the military or not. Uh, when we should be talking about the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. That's what we should be talking about. But instead, it's all about, again, taking a knee for the national anthem. The NFL blew that, uh, you know, blew the big picture outlook on it. They should have just accepted the ad and moved on. Uh, folks, uh, again, the, the NFL, the, the PR division of the NFL, they just don't get it. They really don't. Most NFL fans want people to stand for the national anthem. Most NFL fans do not find it. Please stand for the national anthem. Controversial at all. The NFL should embrace that instead of running away from it and trying to say that you don't want it to be political or that you don't want the NFL to be political. Sorry, that ship has sailed thanks to uh, the NFL stand on uh, those players who take a knee during the national anthem. They should have accepted the end. Now, I have seen some people uh, who say that uh, this is censorship, that uh, this is wrong, that uh, this goes against the, um, I guess, what, the First Amendment rights of this organization. Uh, no, it doesn't. Listen, I, I still think the NFL made the wrong call here. I think they blew uh, blew this call. I think they've screwed up this entire, well, the, the last two seasons when it comes to players taking a knee. But the NFL is still a an organization ca that can determine uh, which ads to run and which ads they don't want to run. They have that right as an organization to decide we don't want your ad or we do want your ad. Uh, they have that right. Let's not complain because, uh, you know, li li you know, you can complain about them, uh, you know, uh, sending the wrong message, but let's not get off into this thing about censorship or anything else, okay? The NFL can reject anyone's ad. The NFL can say uh, that, uh, hey, we don't want uh, certain, uh, uh, mu you know, musicians playing during the NFL. They can do that. It's their organization. It's their ball game. Uh, whoever they want to advertise, they can get to advertise. Uh, I, I don't believe it is censorship at all. But I do believe the NFL is wrong here, and they screwed up yet once again because coming up on the big game, we're talking about players taking a knee. We're talking about the NFL not respecting the military, not respecting the flag, and that's probably not something the NFL really wanted. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.